I'm actually back working on Brexit today. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff to do today. Uh, it's raining. There's no hood on the car. The wiring is not really fully sorted. But I'll get some things done at the very least. Uh, first one of which is this uh, oil filter housing. O-ring is leaking fairly badly. I'm not really sure why. But I've had to leave a little uh, absorbent device down beneath it. I've got a, a S54 filter. It's the same thing um, as the metal housing M50s. There's that. Maybe a little bit higher quality on these, but whatever. It's all the same. So I have that and a new O-ring to put on it. Uh, after that, I'm going to double check all the, the hose clamps and things like that. Obviously this is still out because I don't want the turbo to be blowing the shrapnel into the intake. I may still have to pull the bumper out yet and blast it with compressed air or something. I'm not really sure, but I don't want aluminum shavings in the intake. Uh, I also have to fab some sort of bracket for the power steering reservoir and for the catch can. I feel like pretty much everything else is solid enough. Eventually I'll need a hose clamp here so that doesn't blow off during boost situations. Um, diagnostic plug can actually go back where it's supposed to be. This is a Treehouse Racing adapter harness, which I um, I took that off the black M3, I think, when I took the S52 out. So that should be working just fine for what I need it for. Uh, turbos behaving well, it's not leaking or anything. The exhaust is not finish welded. I forget exactly how far I got. I think the downpipe is fully welded, <laughs> but everything under the car is not. Um, that's probably not a project for today. Oh yeah, another bracket needed for this little guy up here, the clutch fluid. Heat shield would be nice, but I'm not sure if I have the things to do it. ECU obviously has to go inside the car. Um, that's actually not as bad a fit as it looks like it's going to be. <laughs> and I've got some harness tape to make everything look a little prettier. I'll probably throw the uh, beauty plate back on this at some point too. Although, with the downpipe right there, I'm not sure if I want to risk it. Might, uh, might do some damage. But yeah, basically it's just brackets and, you know, fiddly stuff. The car is more or less done. It's behaving pretty well. Uh, the power steering is completely dead. I guess I haven't checked the reservoir. Oh yeah, it's bone dry. Maybe I'll put some fluid in that. <laughs> I am so smart. I don't know. She's turning out pretty well. I'm very, very excited to actually rip into it the first time uh, with boost. See what happens, but that's not quite going to happen yet. So <laughs> we shall see. Well, I ran into a situation of, uh, you can't make this up. Uh, not only was there no oil filter in it at all, there was no O-ring on it at all, and the O-ring on this piece was completely flattened. So I actually have a pair of M50s on a pallet back there. So I took the screw out of one of them with a better O-ring, and then the oil filter housing top O-ring actually looked pretty much perfect on it still. I'm going to go ahead and put in a filter, which is a novel idea. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wipe off and reuse this O-ring, set that in there, and reassemble it. But that would definitely explain the oil leak I had. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, this new filter did not come with any of that, so it should have. Clearly that one's been manipulated by somebody. Grr. Back in here, uh, working on the power steering bracket first. This is still really hot, but it's kind of what I came up with. Uh, down here, I'm gonna bolt it onto the filter housing there, and then right here, I left myself a big enough hole where I should be able to hook that little clip over top of this aluminum and bolt it in. We'll see. I don't know, either way, it's better than how it is now. <laughs> That's for darn sure. So, I'm gonna start off with that. I'm gonna rip this 13 mil out here. Uh, bolt that bracket on with a washer if I have one, with not if I don't, and we'll see how this goes. Well, there you kind of get the gist of the bracket I made here. Really simple, quick and dirty, but honestly, it should. Oops, sorry. Honestly, it should work. So we'll see where we get on that. The power string lines aren't ideally placed, but 
I think they will they'll survive. Well, you can tell it's not stock, but honestly, it's pretty solid. That's really all I care about. Really not in the way of anything either, so. <laughs> Uh, I'll call that good for the bracket for the power steering. The catch can actually has a little aluminum piece on it already. So this one I'm planning to just um, tie in right here where the original power steering would have gone. And then probably just 90 down and mushroom it a little bit to get it to fit in there. Uh, and I'll probably abandon that bracket you see on there right now. Which means I have to undo that T-bolt clamp on it right there. <laughs> Yippee. There's my catch can bracket. It looks kind of stupid, but if it works, it works. So we'll see. Well, both brackets are in. Stuff's at least solid. That's how I want it. I did just top up the power steering with ATF. I'm using good stuff. Pentos and ATF 1 LV. Uh, LV is the red stuff. That's usually for domestics and Mercedes and stuff. The gold Pentos and ATF 1 is for German, or I'm sorry. BMW. Um, I'm gonna make sure this thing's in neutral, start it up and crank the wheel back and forth to see if I have power steering, but I gotta watch the level while I do it. At least I'm going to try to. It is in neutral. good on fluid and no more oil leak but it's a huge plus this thing's running nice now I'm gonna shut it back off uh, probably deal with the ECU wiring and then put the hood back on it and then I should probably go back up in the air once more just to nut and bolt the bottom side before I actually take it for a test drive especially on a wet day like today. So I decided, after I got the ECU all mounted up in there, got the relays on top, I'm gonna rip out this old Sigma immobilizer from its days back in the United Kingdom. It's just a stupid device, so if I can completely circumvent it, which I believe I can, so I was originally trying to cut it out, I ended up having to splice the two purples together and the two reds together. So if I can trace those all the way back to where they came from, I should be able to take all of this crap back out, which would be super nice. So much cleaner. All that just to bypass one ground on the ignition system. Absolutely ridiculous. And best of all, the car, well, it did still start. Now it doesn't. <laughs> what the hell? That's dumb. So I get to figure that one out now. Well, she's looking pretty official. I haven't actually nut and bolted anything on the bottom side, but kind of itching to take it for a test drive. So I'm gonna move those engines over and take this thing outside and at least try to spool up the turbo and blow some of the shavings out of it. Um, it's not hooked up for boost right now. I want to make sure she's completely vetted before I actually put some <laughs> force induction into the intake. So, uh, yeah, it'll be just a second before I clear that stuff out and take it for a short spin.
does run really nice though. Obviously no boost yet, just trying to clear out the pipes. 